So I have almost 500 videos like up on the YouTube thing, which is crazy. And a few weeks ago, I had posted on my Insta my new shower steamers and new size and new cool little formulation and you know, whatever. And someone asked if I was going to be doing a video about this soon. And I went, I think I have done. And so I went back and I looked at my log because surely I've done a shower steamer recipe, right? I have not done. So today I will do. And that's going to be awesome. And I will tell you more about shower steamers, what they even are, why you want this recipe, and what else we're doing in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Open Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 130 of 365 days of soap. You know, you're too. And today's a recipe day, and we are doing shower steamers. Now, two things with this. Yes, we're doing shower steamers, but also I got these really cool molds that say chill pill on them, and that's awesome. And so we're also gonna talk about the mold, and the pressing, and the weight, and all the things. You know, so you guys know what they, and I'll try to put the place I got them from down below. Like I'll try, I'll try to remember. Try to remember where I even got them. If I remember where I got them and also remember where, the information will be down below. If that's the case, if not, just assume that I don't know where I got them. But anyway, cool new mold. Yes, one, two, shower steamers. What are shower steamers? Well, shower steamers are like a bath bomb for your shower, never for the tub. Why? Because they have boatloads of menthol in them. And when I say boatloads, I mean boatloads. There is a lot of menthol in these. In addition, you get eucalyptus. You've got, you know, the scent that you want. I use spearmint, lavender, and orange for mine. But you know, you can do whatever. And we're going to talk about what the whole point of a shower steamer is and why it's awesome while we make them and give you a recipe for them, you know, now. Okay, on to the steamer recipe. So here we go. We've got two cups baking soda, one cup citric acid, half a cup Epsom salts, two tablespoons menthol crushed up, one tablespoon mint essential oil, one tablespoon eucalyptus essential oil, one tablespoon regular oil, like a sunflower oil, and one to one and a half tablespoons of water. Really, I would go with just like the one tablespoon of water with this because we have a lot of liquid in this. And when you have a lot of liquid in a bath bomb recipe, that's when things can go sideways pretty quick. Because remember, the baking soda and the citric acid, because of the water, are looking to effectively neutralize themselves, creating you know fizzy reaction. And so that happens a little bit within your bath bombs as they're curing and we want to make sure that it doesn't happen so much that you have these big mounds of expanding bath bomb powder coming out of your containers. Now with this steamer recipe, first and foremost, if you've never heard of a shower steamer, hi, this is a shower steamer. It is a bath bomb essentially for your shower. It is very important because of the amounts of eucalyptus and menthol, should you make this, that you understand and you make sure if you're making this professionally, your customers understand 
under no circumstances ever, 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 ever can you put this in your tub. You cannot do it. Do not put a shower steamer, something containing menthol and eucalyptus, especially at these really high amounts, you can never put this in your bathing water. Now, that's not to say that you can't create a cool steamer experience by pulling the curtain on your tub if you have that kind of, you know, setup where it's a shower tub combo and you just kind of want to sit in the tub and have your steamer experience as well. You can do that too, but you're going to want to put one of these tabs into a dish that is away from the actual water that you're sitting in because have you ever had icy hot? Have you ever had icy hot in your nether regions? It's like that experience. It's not fun. It's Bernie. And we don't like Bernie. I mean, we like Bernie Sanders. We just don't like Bernie skin. Because that's not... We, we don't need our... We, we don't need our nether bits feeling like that. So, this is a shower steamer. Shower. Not tub. Not tub. Shower. Got it? Under no circumstances can you put it in a bathtub. Don't put it in a bathtub with the kids. Don't put, just don't put it into water that anyone is sitting in. Okay? Got it? Good. Let's go mold these things. Okay, now onto the mold. I am going to show you these and this cool little compression 3D printed mold thing that I got. Now, I got this from Splatter Geek or Gle Geek Splatter on Etsy. And uh, I don't know. I don't. Okay. So after making thousands of these, this bath bomb mold broke, like just disintegrated. And so considering it was something like, I don't know, I want to say it was like 14, 15 bucks or something for the mold in and of itself. I'm like, well, that's pretty shitty. But at the same time, I made thousands of them. So, I mean, I guess that's okay, right? So maybe, yeah, go get them. That's fine too. But this is another way that you can do shower steamers. And this is how I do it for all my wholesale accounts. And up until I got these chill pill mold things, how I did it for my own business and my own sales. I just got these little Wilton silicone heart things. And so each of them is about half an ounce. I think we will be weighing these to give you a difference in size with the two. But you can do them this way too and just let them set up overnight and then just pop them out. Okay, now, shower steamer. Why are they cool? Well, the menthol and the eucalyptus with those big camphorous notes, right? The eucalyptus has tannins in it that helps with um, respiratory stuff, right? And menthol, this big camphorous scent as well, very similar too. And so we've heard of Vicks VapoRub and all of those sorts of things. There are fascinating studies out there on like the NIH and, you know, Science Daily and Science Weekly and all the science. They've been fascinating studies done over the years on both menthol and eucalyptus and whether or not it act they actually help breathing. And it's basically six of one, half a dozen of the other as far as, yeah, it does or, yeah, no, it doesn't. And all of these studies are very, very fascinating. This does come down to a whole, my kind of whole mantra thing. It works if you believe in it. And that's great. And for me personally, I'm an asthmatic. I know, weird, allergies, all of the things. And when the air quality gets bad, I actually just walk around with these steamers in a bag and huff on it throughout the day. And I don't have to use inhalers or do anything. So I like it for that reason. And as far as the shower thing. Why are they called steamers? Well, because that menthol and that eucalyptus, they are with this bath bomb formulation, the baking soda and the citric acid are doing their fizzy fizz thing. And while they are doing it, they're releasing and breaking down the menthol, the crystals, and also essentially diffusing the essential, the essential oils, your eucalyptus, your all of the jazz in the shower and it mixes with that hot water and the steam and it creates a very soothing aromatic experience but also a great respiratory breathing experience so these things are great for when you're sick and all of the things very high amounts 
uh, of menthol and eucalyptus in this. Now for this particular one, these are my mint ones. And so I put a spearmint in here as well. So it smells like delicious, you know, gum. And that's great, but you can use whatever other essential oil you want in this. I would recommend using only essential oils and not fragrance oils for your steamers, personally, because you are doing this diffusion thing with the menthol and all of the jazz inside of the shower. So let's just continue to up the awesome of essential oils and not fragrances. But that's my personal druthers. You can, you can use a fragrance if you want. Now, People are going to ask where to get menthol. And in all honesty, I don't have a good answer for you. I've gotten menthol from all over, just depending on the price point. I've had fair luck with eBay as far as good priced menthol. Amazon used to have good luck with it. I don't really anymore. I think I saw Wholesale Supplies Plus had menthol on their site recently but their shipping times are atrocious. I think Brambleberry carried it for a hot minute. I don't know if they do anymore, but their prices in general are just awful. So eBay, I would check eBay first and next up Amazon probably to get your menthol. And it will come in like those shard looking things. You are going to want to take that, put it in a plastic bag and take a rolling pin to it and crush it down into a fine powder so it can be easily dispersed in your bath bomb mixture, right? Cool. Now these are gonna set up on the counter overnight and then we will play with them, you know, now, but I had to wait a day. You don't have to wait a day. You just have to wait a little info card and maybe an ad. I don't know, let's go weigh these, see what's going on. Okay, so let's check this out and do a difference in size and all of the jazz and see what we are working with here. Now, for these little heart ones, I wanna say they're around half an ounce, but I, I do think we're going to weigh them. They are really good for essentially single use. Now, the cool thing about a shower steamer is you can just put it on the ledge, kind of out of the way of the direct stream of water, right? And just flick a couple drops of water on it and it starts doing its fizz thing. And as long as you're not continuing to add water to it, eventually it will stop fizzing. So even with these little about half ounce ones with the hearts, you can get multiple showers out of it if that's what you want. If you don't want the full potent experience, because it is very potent, you can do so by just not putting more water on it while you're taking your shower. Now for these bigger ones, this would be something that would be a weeks long shower you can break it in half and use it in multiple you know whatever or you can just put this on a dish in your shower and then every time you get in again just flick some water on it and it always smells delightful in there the eucalyptus makes your bathroom smell beautifully clean and amazing and invigorating and again if you're not continuing to put water on it it stops fizzing and it holds its shape and dries out and is ready for the next shower so yeah, okay, it's about 0.8 ounces for those guys. So essentially you would need two or three to hit the same weight as the big ones. So yeah, both cool. These single servings are awesome. I just got bored with making them because I've made so many shower steamers over the years that I decided it was time to really mix it up and change to the chill pills because also they're cute. But we're gonna put a little bit of water on and check the fizzy action in all of this because why not? It's fun to do. And as I said, put it on a dish in your shower out of the direct stream of water and just put a little bit of water on it and let it do its fizz fizz thing. And it's releasing all that eucalyptus, all that menthol, all of that awesome into the air. And you have a delightful shower experience, my friend. That is day 130, a shower steamer recipe. Super quick, super easy. You should try it. Let me know how it turns out. For sure. And there they are, shower steamers. And yeah, no, I really like the new size of these. A, if you line up the mold in the right way, you can actually, the, the line on both sides of the pill will line up and you can just break them in half, which is cool. If you don't do that, the shower steamer itself, just put it on a dish like to the side 
in your shower and just give it a couple little flicks of water when you get in and it will start doing its fizz fizz. As long as it's not coming in direct contact with the water, it will stop the fizz fizz eventually. And that's a week long puck for you and your family to enjoy all of the eucalyptus menthol -y awesomeness every time you're in the shower. So yes, I love these new sizes for sure. And if you're interested in getting them from me, you totally can do. They're at soakandclay.com. So that's awesome. If you're interested in making the recipe, do the thing. Let me know how it goes. Yes. If you're interested in other recipes and other, you know, things that my twitchy self gives you, subscribe. That's the thing. For those of you who are subscribed, hey, thank you for being my sudsers and being cool with my twitchy awesome. Because it is awesome, even though I'm twitchy. And I am out of here for today. I appreciate everybody for joining me for another round of 365 days of soap. I will see you again tomorrow for another round of soapy fun. Bye.